Hey everybody, welcome to a brand new episode of Song Theory. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also, we are selling Song Theory t-shirts, so make sure you get yourself one today. So, of course, with everything that's going on right now, it has been very difficult for me uh, to make content because of the protests, the Black Lives Matter movement. I've just been in this state of reflection. And, of course, I wanted to try to make content that reflects what I've been thinking about. So, I just want to talk about one statement that Justin Bieber made in the recent days that I thought really struck a chord with me and a lot of people. So, I kind of want to read that statement today and see what you guys think about what he said, okay? Now everybody knows that Justin Bieber was actually signed by Usher. He was, uh, his, his songwriters were black as well. And so a lot of his success came from black artists and black supporters of who he is. So this statement coming in this way makes a lot of sense, but let's read it real quick. Justin Bieber said, I am inspired by black culture. I have benefited off of black culture. My style, how I sing, dance, perform, and my fashion have all been influenced and inspired by black culture. I am committed to using my platform from this day forward to learn to speak up about racial injustices uh, and systematic oppression and to identify ways to be part of a much needed change. So taking into account what he said in this statement, I do like the fact that he acknowledged how black culture has formed his entire art, right? Has formed who he is, what he's doing, and how he's doing it. This is important because I think a lot of people really get agitated with white artists uh, like Eminem or Justin Bieber, Macklemore, uh, you know, the list goes on. And what they get frustrated about is sometimes they don't feel like they give true credit where credit is due, okay? There's actually a complaint that people had about Drake for a long time. They felt like Drake wasn't giving proper credit to the Afro beats and the artists that were creating his Afro beats for him um, in the times that he was using it for his albums and for his songs. So I do like the fact that Justin Bieber came out and said this because there are other artists that have also said that, you know, uh, Hispanic, African, Afrobeat, African uh, influences have ga given them the muse for them to make their music. In fact, the Beatles is actually uh, a great example. The Beatles are a great example because they also came out a long time ago and said that essentially they also had a lot of their influences come from black music. I believe even Elvis at one point said that. The reason why this is important is because it's actually a privilege to be able to use somebody else's art, somebody else's uh, way of expressing themselves in order to express yourself. And it's also important because you don't actually get demonized for it, right? So let's explore that for a minute. Justin Bieber doesn't get demonized for being more influenced by black culture because he's a white person. Obviously when you are white, it's a lot easier to do it, usually because you're not going to look, be looked at as like a demon, as, as a, as a uh, mark on society. A lot of times when black people do it, even our own art, hip hop, has always been seen as, you know, the jungle music, some people call it, in a, in a racial way. Some people call it hateful music. People in hip hop have been demonized for their own art for decades. But as Justin Bieber has pointed out, you can look at someone like Justin Bieber and love his music, but don't realize that all of his influences came from art that a lot of people ended up hating because of the person that was doing the art. Does that make sense? I'll actually be doing like this documentary style video about why hip hop has became such a large cultural centerpiece in America. And when I make that video, I want you all to watch it because it's going to tell you a lot about how hip hop has been hated, but how people in our generation and also the one before us have embraced it so much that it became a, a an anchor of American culture. But I'm proud of Justin Bieber. I want to talk about that for a second. I'm proud of Justin Bieber because he was able to articulate himself in a way that he was able to give credit where credit is due. I don't think that happens a lot. I don't think that artists understand that crediting somebody and crediting a culture for your art is extremely important. And it's necessary. If you want to get your point across and you want to show solidarity to a movement like Black Lives Matter, for example, this is the way to do it. Am I saying Justin Bieber is right for all of the racial things he said in the past, like that time he was 14 and said the N-word on video? No, I'm not giving him a pass on that. And I, think, I don't think he's going to get one ever from me. 
But the point is that he is showing solidarity in this moment, in this time in history, showing us that he acknowledges where his fortune and fame has come from. If he stuck to his guns and let's say, for example, he did country music or he did anything like that, I don't believe he would have been as popular as he is now. The dance moves, the amount of charisma that he has, all of the music, all the writing came from black men and women who had a vision for Justin Bieber and wanted to help him get to that next level. So to not give credit to them would be a complete disjustice, uh, injustice and disservice. So I do appreciate Justin Bieber for this. It does show me that he is acknowledging his privilege. He's acknowledging the amount of work that was put into his image and everything he's been through. And it acknowledges that he also gives credit to those that are black and who are of black culture and giving them what they deserve. And that's the credit. A lot of people forget that Usher is the one that signed Justin Bieber. Usher is the one that discovered Justin Bieber on YouTube when he was just playing guitar with his dad. Justin Bieber was literally just a kid with a guitar in Canada. And Usher saw something much bigger than that. So without a black man, without a black man, Justin Bieber would not be who he is today. Without Usher stepping into his life and giving him that ability to have a platform, to have a voice in this world, Justin Bieber would not have what he has today. And it's good that Justin Bieber recognizes that. It's actually really great that we're able to sit down and celebrate people and artists who have admitted and who have been open about where they get their muse, where they get their inspiration from. That's actually really important. And I think it's something that not a lot of artists do enough of. I think that more artists should do what Justin Bieber did and sit down and really say to their fan base, hey, this isn't just coming from me. I didn't just start this. This isn't something I started. This is something that was already in motion. This is something like people, Michael Jackson, Usher, all the greats have started before I showed up and all I did was emulate them. When we have more white artists admit this, you start to see a different change in the perspective in hip hop, in pop, in R&B. You start to see this change of perspective when it comes to the people that listen to their music. They start to recognize that the Justin Bieber that they know and love wouldn't be the Justin Bieber without black culture. It leaves people to understand that racism within this context is impossible. You can't love Justin Bieber for the dance moves and his music and not also love the black people that got him and created those dance moves and music. Yes, even his choreographer is black. So once again, it's impossible to separate the two. And I think it's important for him to do that because he's showing that this is what it's about. Solidarity, speaking up for what is right and saying this is what's correct. I love it. And in the next few episodes, I'm gonna be talking more about why hip hop is important in our co uh, American culture, how it's going to continue forward. And I'm excited about this because it was actually a college essay that I did. Um, it was a college essay that I did for sociology. And what I hate the most about it is that I got a C on it. And I don't think I deserved a C. I think it got, I, I'm pretty sure it deserved an A. I got a C on it though. But I wanna give it to the public. I wanna give it to you guys. I want you guys to decide how you feel about it. Because when you look at the video and you watch and listen to what I'm saying, I think you guys are gonna get a clearer perspective on why hip hop is so extremely important in American culture. And why a lot of the artists that you see today were directly influenced by that. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm gonna have a lot more coming soon. Uh, of course, you guys can find all the information that you want in the description below. You can also watch some more of my old videos as well. Um, and like I said, I'm gonna be talking more about this because right now it's a time in our country where change is coming. Change in a lot of different ways, whether in music, politics, all of those things. Some people don't want to be along for the ride. And if you don't want to be along for the ride, that's okay. You don't have to watch these videos. You don't have to be a part of it. But just know that anytime you support me, subscribe to my channel, like my stuff, or even comment, you're supporting a black man. That's who I am, a black man. And if I'm part of the movement, hopefully you can understand that and be part of it with me. Anyway, guys, once again, I love you. If you want to try to support the channel directly, I do have a link below where I'm selling t-shirts right now, Song Theory t-shirts. I'd be really appreciative if you guys pick one up. And of course, I got more content on the way. I love you guys. I hope you have a great day and a better tomorrow. God bless. I'll see you all later.